Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm really excited to, to talk to you, not see you. Hi, I am your professor and Professor Fernandez. Um, do me a favor, could you please go into the chat box of this and let me know that you see me and that you hear me. Just waiting for everyone to get online now. Um, go ahead on the right side. Hi, Kaylee. Nice to see you. Go ahead and, and um, if you're anyone other than Kaylee who just did, who just did it, um, go ahead and introduce yourselves or say that you see me, um, that you can hear me, so everything is fine. Um, I'm super excited to be your teacher this semester, it is a very odd and a very strange semester. Um, who would have who would have thought that um, some water could do some damage? <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute, um, and we'll talk about all the destruction that's happened on campus. Um, hello, Ashley. Nice to nice to meet you through uh, social media. Um, YouTube is a social media. So again, welcome, and this is English 1302. I'm Professor Fernandez, and I'm so happy you are here. So what we're going to do is that um, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the class and how it's set up, um, some rules of the game here so you are successful for the semester. I also want to go through the syllabus with you as if it was the first day of class. Um, this will pretty much housekeeping items to make sure that you guys know what's going on. Um, the class is up and it's live and it's ready. Um, the modules are up or the first module is up. So I want to go ahead and I'm going to attempt this screen share. I'm gonna say hello right quick to Nicholas Shelby Rigdon, did I say it correctly? Jorge and of course, Ashley. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for signing in. Um, let me go ahead and get started here. Um, there was somebody else here. Hi, Scott. Hi, Jose. Oh, he hello, sir. How are you? And thank you so much for the email this morning. Um, we, um, let, let me start off by saying that during the semester, email is going to be really important. Um, this morning I had two students say that there's, there was parts of the module that weren't visible and they were, I was able to fix it really, really quickly um, this morning, so that way you guys would have it for today. So thank you so much for emailing me. Um, I always hope and pray that things um, are doing the way they're supposed to here. All right, so I'm gonna do a screen share here so you won't see my face. Um, my entire window, let's share that. Okay, present to everyone. Maybe not. Okay, let's do this. Can you see? Oh, fantastic, that's what you can see. Okay, let me undo the screen share here. Okay, there it goes, all right. So this is your course on D2L. I'm super excited, yay! Your course on D2L. Um, <clears throat> is um, encount encompassed here. Right now, what I have right here is the um, is the student view. The teacher view is a little bit different. Um, so I went ahead and viewed this as a student so that way we can walk through it. Right here, you're going to see um, the front page of your course. Um, you're going to want to, to log in um, to your course every day. Even if you have nothing due that day, or even if you are in the process of doing something and something's not due until the next day, go ahead and log in, even if it's just to see if I put something up. This section right here, this new section, is where I am going to be communicating with you guys as a class. Um, I'm gonna be seeing, um, I'm gonna be saying what things are due, what things are not due. I'm gonna be seeing, um, I'm gonna be saying things like I've moved up an assignment or I have not moved up an assignment or I've completely um, 
completely take an assignment off. Um, that's where I will be announcing when the next live streams are and a little bit about that and how the course is set up through the semester. Um, so this is important here to know that the news section is kind of where you want to be. Also, I'm going to be emailing, and this little icon right here is your email inside D2L. It's not like a regular email, like a how, how I've been emailing you guys at your Lone Star email. This is an email that's specific to D2L, to this learning management system is what it's called, but it's kind of like a website, but um, this learning management system. So that's where you want um, where you want to also check to see if there's any emails that I've sent. Um, and I'll be corresponding with you guys through this email as well. Big green, big green start button on the left. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. You kind of want to click on that. And here we go. Here is our course. You want to start here where it says, welcome, start here. I have a little note for you guys, kind of uh, some things that to do. Um, and some things that I want you to, to, to take notice of. If I have some, some, uh, some directions here, usually I will put a black background and white letters, um, most because I want you to see it. Um, and I understand that white letters on black, black backgrounds aren't that great. So I will, um, I will uh, try not to write as much. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here are the click to the live to the live streams. You guys have been able to to see that, so let's move on from that. Here's your syllabus, and so I want to I'm going to click on this here in a little bit. I want to go through the rest of the welcome uh, module, and your first assignment, and you literally you get a grade on this, is to introduce yourself to the class. Um, here's is the discussion for the welcome module. You can click here and go ahead and fill out the, um, the discussion. Here are the directions for that. Um, I usually give a spiel about who I am, but at this semester, because it is a weird semester, I'm gonna do a little bit, something a little bit different. I'm, I put together a little video about me and who I am. So if you wanna know who, who I am and what makes me capable of teaching this class, that is something definitely that you're gonna want to um, you're going to want to check in on. Let's see. I want to talk, talk, tell you about the references. Um, these two are probably pretty important here. They're the um, how to set up your paper in MLA format. These are two videos that does it that to help you with it. One is in Word and one is in Google Docs. So whatever you decide to use, that's um, those videos are there for you. So I'm um, gonna to the screen. So it's gonna look a little funky here for a minute. I wanted to see if there's any questions in the chat box here. I see no questions. All right. Okay, so we can continue here. All right. So let's go ahead and click on the syllabus. And at any point, if you have a question, um, go ahead on and um, go ahead and please put them in. Put the questions in the chat box. Let's see. All right, so let's click on the syllabus. I'm trying to keep a running stream here of questions. It comes up, but for some reason, the phone isn't working. Remind me to send you guys a picture of the setup here that I have to do the live stream. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so here is your wonderful, oops, here is your wonderful syllabus for the semester. Syllabuses are, especially if you, this is your first time in college, syllabuses are the, um, that the teacher has with the student. It essentially says, these are the rules of the game, this is what I am going to adhere to, um, and this is how you know how things go. So for, um, for us, and my computer is giving me things. Um, for us, um, I'm going to have office hours through Skype. Um, and Skype, if you don't know Skype, it's like um, if you have an iPhone, it's like FaceTiming, but for everybody. 
Um, it's an app, excuse me, it's an app that you can download on your phone. It's an app that you can get to on your laptop. You can actually log into Skype um, or you can download the app also on your laptop or on your computer. The reason why I decided to use Skype, um, I'm a big fan of Google and Google Hangouts, as you as you can tell, because you're here at the live stream. The reason why I wanted to use Skype is that your email, your lonestar.edu email, is a Microsoft email. And that means you are attached to all the Microsoft things. Um, you get Word for free. You have cloud space, so you can save all your papers in, in the cloud. Um, you can do Skype. You can do PowerPoint. You can do all these things for free, and it's attached to your email. Um, how do you do that? Just a quick thing. If you click on here, um, there's this little box right here. I'm tied into my to my email, so it shows up everything. So if you when you sign into your email, and that happens to be running in the background, you all this wonderful things should come up and Skype is right here. And you'll be able to use it through your Lone Star email, no problem. Available on Skype from 1 to 3 p.m. Monday through Thursday. Now you're probably worried and you're probably wanting more of a face-to-face -face interaction. That's perfectly fine. Space is pretty limited to us. Um, we have some space, but we have to reserve it. So if you want to meet face-to-face, Please let me know, send me an email about what day and what time you want to meet. So that way we can reserve the space and we can meet face to face. So because space is limited to us, um, the main thing is going to be Skype to have a conversation about papers or in class or whatever. But if you want to have a more of a face to face conversation, please email me and we can schedule that with, with some space. This, of course, is my email, and it's a very, very powerful thing on the syllabus. It gives you all the information that you need. Um, these are important people to know. The chair of the English department is Darlene Beeman, Dr. Beeman, and the dean is Jane Stubbs. Um, and the, the assistant um, to the department is Mitzi Payne. These three folks are wonderful and very, very helpful. So should you need anything, um, and you can't get a hold of me, <laughs> These folks will be very helpful. All right, so let's talk about the required texts. You probably already got the email from me, um, but there are some of you that joined the class after the email was sent out. So here is the required text for this class. It's writing today with the MLA update. So it's the third edition of that book. It's pretty cool. Um, you need On Writing Well, the classic guide to writing nonfiction. We're going to be using it a couple times this semester. The recommended text is the MLA Handbook, the eighth edition. I recommend it because it goes more in depth. Although writing today, your textbook has MLA um, information and how to cite um, sources, which is we will be working on this semester and it'll be interesting to do that via online. <laughs> so let's see how that works out. Um, even though writing today has the MLA um, update, this handbook goes a little goes a little bit well, a lot more in depth than your um, textbook. So um, that's why it's under recommended text. In order to be placed um, in this class, this is the requirements. Um, you need to know that this class is going to be really interesting. Um, the goal here is to write, learn to write different types of essays um, to understand audience and purpose and arrangement and style and to understand and communicate um, what you want to communicate through the written word. It's also wanting geared to help you think critically. So I'm really, um, really excited that um, they make us put this in there because I usually say it anyway. Okay, so communication policy, I, uh, as you, already know I reply to my email pretty quickly. Um, within 48 hours is my is my goal. I usually reply to it quicker than 48 hours unless it's the weekend um, because I'm on this even if I'm doing a face-to-face -face class because I am on my email and my D2L um, often <laughs> during the week 
um, I'd like to take the weekend to relax and decompress. Um, check in, just if I don't check in, know that you will get an email on Monday morning, okay? So um, I'm gonna skip a couple of things because I think um, you guys can probably read all this wonderful stuff. Let's talk about attendance and participation here. Um, log in the class every day because um, that's how I'm gonna communicate with you, but that also shows me that you are participating in this class. Um, or professors have to just, um, put a list together of students who haven't shown up for class. Um, and those students are dropped and it's, it's called the official day of roll. It happens within the first week or two of class. Um, by you logging in, it shows me that you are actively participating in this class and you will not be on that list. It's when I don't see you participate in the class and I don't see that you've logged on that I'm questioning whether you are still in the class or not. And then at that point you'll be dropped. Um, that day is actually coming up here in about two weeks. So um, heads up. Um, the last day to withdraw, and this is to withdraw with a W on your transcript, um, is November, November 17th. Here's an important thing. Um, because we are going pretty fast here, um, and I actually do this for my face-to-face -face classes, I do not accept late work at all. Um, I created the syllabus and I created the due dates that are on your course calendar with that in mind. So I, something that should probably take you about an hour, I probably gave you two days to complete. Um, simply because I don't accept late work, I wanna make sure I give you enough time to do the work. When we talk about what's coming up and what um, assignments are coming up, we'll talk about how to work smarter, not harder in this course, because um, there's a trick to it. Going down here, all this, I'm sure you can read for yourselves. Um, all this you can read by yourself. So let's get to the good stuff here, which is probably what you want to know. Um, I start here, let's see. This right here is my trigger warning and I put this in every syllabus um, and I do not change it. Um, so let me go ahead and read this to you. During the semester, we will be discussing historical and cultural or uh, current events that include, but are not limited to gender, race and sexual orientation. For some students, this may be disturbing, even traumatizing. If you suspect that specific material is likely to be emotionally challenging for you, I'd like to I'd like to be I'd be happy, sorry, I'd be happy to discuss any concerns you have before the subject comes up in class. Likewise, if you ever wish to discuss your personal reactions to course material with the class or with me individually, I welcome such discussions as an appropriate part of our classwork. If you ever feel the need to step outside, and in this case, kind of um, check out a little bit <laughs> during class discussion, you may always do so without academic pen penalty. You will, however, be responsible for any material that you miss. If you do leave the room for a sign significant time, please make arrangements to get notes from another student or see me individually to discuss the situation. Look, we are, this is a class that's gonna help you think critically. And in order to think critically, um, you're going to be challenged on some things and you're going to be challenged to think a little bit deeper, um, to consider some things you probably wouldn't consider. And so that could be a little traumatizing for folks in the nicest way. Um, and that's okay because you guys are learning, right? And so that's what we want to do. We want to learn. And so that's what we, um, that is the goal of the class. And that's okay if you feel a little uncomfortable. Um, if you're not feeling a little bit uncomfortable or not feeling like you can do something easily, then I'm not doing my job and I'm not challenging you and stretching you, not only as a person, but as a student. So I take great pride um, in helping you think critically. Um, let's talk about assignments here. Assignments, um, there's a course calendar in D2L and when we pop back into D2L, I'll show you where it is. Um, everything is there. Um, 
if something changes and they're more than likely something will change. I actually saw something in your syllabus I kind of wanted to tweak last night, um, but didn't because I wanted to talk to you guys about it first or tell you guys about it first. Um, go to the news tool and tell you about it. And the news tool is very, very, very important. Go to the news tool. All right, assignment sheets. Um, and I'll show, I'll show you a copy of the assignment sheet because you do have an assignment. Every essay that we do here has an assignment sheet. If I ask you to do an essay, not like a reflective essay, but an actual, uh, an actual essay that's a couple of pages long and it doesn't have an assignment sheet, you don't have to do it. Why? The assignment sheets are important because they tell you what the, what the assignment is, how long it has to be, when it's due, what I'm looking for, it gives you all the information. So I can't rightfully ask you to do an essay assignment without giving you how you're going to be graded. So all of your essays have an assignment sheet and they have all these questions on there. So if you have a question about assignment, an assignment, please read the assignment sheet first and then ask the question. All right, talking about your essays, all your essays need to be in MLA format, and you may not know what that is quite yet. Um, remember those, those videos that I directed, did, directed you to earlier? Please watch those videos, because it shows you how to, put, um, how to put your papers in MLA format in both Word and Google Docs, so whichever thing you're gonna use to write. So please look at those. In general, it's 12 point font times New Roman with one inch margins all around the edge, and it's double spaced. All of your essays and all of your assignments, 7.59 p.m. the day that they are due. Now, be careful with this, because it's 11.59 by the official time, not 11.59 by your clock, by your cell phone clock, by the clock in your, uh, near your kitchen table, it is 11.59 by the official Greenwich Village time. Have, have messed up here thinking, oh, it's due by 11.59 and in their, on their kitchen, on their, in the kitchen wall, it's 11.50, but in reality, it's 12.01 because their, their clock is slow. So please be cognizant of it. This also be cognizant that 11.59 p.m. is not midnight. So don't think that by saying, oh, I have till midnight. No, you have until a minute before midnight. Uh, we're going to have a lot of discussions in this class, so that means that you're going to be required to read. Um, it's okay. Reading is good. <laughs> uh, you also want to be respectful to your instructors and your classmates always. Um, here's something that We'll break this rule. <laughs> I already know it's going to happen, and that's okay. I will remind you of this rule when you break it. Never, ever, ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 email me your papers. Never say, oh, detail is down and is broken, so I'm going to email you this paper and it's attached to this email. Don't do that. Don't do that at all. If something's wrong with D2L and you're not able, to turn something in, or there's something funky going on, and it's not 11.59 p.m., please take a picture of it or do a screen cap and email me that so I know something's going on, and then we can talk about how I'm gonna receive your paper. But don't ever, ever, ever email me your paper nilly-willy and thinking you turned it in. That's, it's not turned in. All right. Um, all of these you can read on your own. Um, I've hit the big highlights here. I also want you to know here, this is extremely important because you're about to write essays. Um, there's a writing lab and there's a writing lab at the SEC on campus. Yes, the student, co student conference center is open on the Kingwood campus. Um, allowed to go, it's open. Where you are not allowed to go is fenced in. So be on the correct side of the fence. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The Atascacita Center, which is where I am at now, is, um, is also having a writing lab. And we call it MSED, and I realized when I wrote this, you may not know what that is. It's the East Montgomery County Improvement District. I will um, 
when we are done here, we'll put the address to, to the MSED Center and the Atascacita Center here, so that way you know there's writing labs here, um, and they're very, very, very good. Um, this is how things break down. So here we're getting to the good stuff here. Um, so we are on a scale of 100. The quizzes and the homework that you do, that you turn in for grade, they're worth 20% of your grade. The discussions are worth just as much, 20% of your grade. Twice as much are your essays. And we're writing three essays here. We're writing memoir essay and the profile essay and the argument essay. We are gonna do some reflective essay, but that's gonna be under homework here. Attendance is 10% of your grade. And that is, did you, and it's pretty much did you actually show up and log in the class? So it's you either get it or you don't. So it's a pass fail here. And final, your final is 10% of your grade. Let's see, is there, are there any questions? I'm gonna go back to the YouTube um, thing to see if there's any questions. Uh, which email do I prefer? Uh, you know what, either one is fine. Um, I've been responding to Lone Star to the Lone Star edu email, um, but you don't. You guys do need to know that sometimes, um, sometimes uh, the firewall catches your email, and I won't see it till the next day after you send it, and then I have to go in there and take it out of the firewall. So know that if you haven't heard from me like within 24 hours, more than likely your email caught in the firewall. Um, the D2L email does not have a firewall, and I check that pretty regularly as well. So either one is fine. Just know that there's a little bit of a kink, um, uh, and I've been trying to fix that. So as you, as students' emails get caught in that, I kind of do the click of, oh no, this person's okay. Like put them in the in my inbox. So just know that that's that's a that's a deal. Um, will we be taking our final at the campus? No, you will not be taking your finals on campus. Your finals are going to be online. The whole thing is online. There's nothing proctored. Um, there's nothing proctored for any of the English classes because simply we just don't have the space. Um, you probably noticed that you don't have a midterm. <laughs> um, I put that, I made sure that you didn't have a midterm because I can't proctor a midterm. Um, but I'm, but you have to have a final. So I put a final in there. Um, you don't know what the final is yet because we're not towards the end of the, the semester and you will know what it is towards the end of the semester. Um, but no, we will not be taking the finals at the campus because they're not proctored. Um, that question. Is there, are there any more questions before I go back? I know this is probably watching me flip through um, a Word document online is probably very um, like watching paint dry. Um, I apologize <laughs> for that, but that's the only way I, I could think of to do this. All right, so I'm gonna flip back here to go through this schedule and we'll go into D12 um, a little in, in a little bit because there's, um, there's an interesting thing happening here. So let me go through this first. So as you can see, what I have here is or the lesson that you'll be working on and then then the date um, and you don't see when things are due sorry you don't see when things are due um, what discussions are due what pages to read the reason why I did that is that um, I am one who likes to see how my classes are doing before I move on to a lesson um, I don't believe in giving you an assignment unless I know that I have prepared you for it. So that's why you don't see all that stuff here. And this session looks weird. I'll change, I'll fix this in a minute. Um, remember when I said there's some things on the syllabus that I wanted to point out to you? Week is very basic and very easy here. You have some things set up for the first week. Your memoir essay is that lesson is two weeks, which means you will have two weeks to write your memoir essay. Um, you once the module opens for a particular um, 
essay, um, particular lesson, the entire module is open. So um, it's not that week two is open and you have to do, you have to be done at week, at the end of week two, and then you have to wait till the ninth to do the stuff on the ninth. No, ev everything is open. So when the 2nd of October comes up, the entire memoir essay module is open. Um, there are due dates for things. And again, we go back to um, the course calendar on D2L. I will show them to you. Um, everything is open. So you'll be able to see your memoir essay assignment sheet on the 2nd, knowing that it's due on the 15th. The, the, your essays are usually do, due by the end of the module. Here's the weird thing that I wanted to show you. Your profile essay lesson is three weeks. I saw a spot where I can take things out and it's around week five. Um, so there may be something in week five that I take out and I can make the profile essay two weeks because I want you guys to have more time with your research paper. So that will add an entire week to the research paper. Is that important? The, the, the schedule says this is a 12 week course. But when you really look at the weeks, it's really a 10 week course because you have Thanksgiving. And frankly, how much work are you going to do Thanksgiving week? Really, really, how much work are you going to do? Um, and then you have finals. Um, and those are two weeks that are just taken off from the top. So really, this is a 10 week course. And so I, I'm trying to find additional, additional time for you to work on your argumentative essay, which is your research paper. So let's go back here to D2L. And I want to go to the front of this, I believe. I really want to do that. So I'm going to click here. I'm still in the student view. This thing on the right-hand side where it says calendar, that's your course calendar. That tells you everything that is due and that is coming up. If I put something up, I will put the, the, the due date on there so you will know when things are due. Um, a lot of this comes from the checklist. So let me go here, back to start, back to the content, and let's look at the first module here, the memoir essay, which is open, by the way, if I did this correctly. No, it's not open. Um, it opens on the second. So that means I'm going to have to go to, oh, no, there's an audience. In there you go. Okay, so your module, the only all module that's open right now is the audience, the audience and it should say tone right here, but audience and topic um, module. Every module is a checklist. So you're going to click on it. And you're going to look up the checklist. Here, you can literally check off what you have done already. For example, you're at the live streams. You can check it off. You're done with that. Right? You have one out of eight items complete. The checklist also has these wonderful due dates. And the due dates that are on your course calendar comes from either the checklist and or the actual Dropbox where your, um, where your essay is, where you turn in your essay. So these dates are important. This is how you know when things are due. Right? So if you've done your introduction post, which is due tomorrow, but you should probably do it today because it's super easy. Um, you can check there. And so you know where you are in the course. Let's talk a little bit about lessons. So um, the lessons are typically going to be voiced over PowerPoint. Within those lessons, there are activities that I want you to do. Um, I want you to take notice here that it says that to finish the lesson, you have until the 30th, but there's an activity that is inside that lesson that's due on the 29th. So just because you say, it says, oh, I don't have to do, I don't have to, this isn't due until the 30th, doesn't mean that there isn't something within that lesson that isn't due. For example, reading this wonderful thing, <laughs> um, Shitty First Straps, which is a really great essay, that's due on the 28th. So, that's what you want to look at. Yes, 
you can finish the lesson by the 30th, but these activities that are inside the lessons are due beforehand. And that's how you work smarter, not harder. So don't say, okay, well, I'm, I'm done with my introduction posts, and so I'm not going to do anything until like the 28th or whenever the next thing is. No, go ahead if you have time and do the next thing. This is just reading, so you're just going to read the essay. Next day, maybe you go, so you start going through audience and tone, um, and then you come up to the part in audience and tone where we talk about um, the lesson exercise that you have to do. Then you do the lesson exercise, you finish it, and you go back and finish the lesson and tone. And then you do your first paper, which is super, super simple. It's only a one-page paper. So that's how you want to do. You want to work ahead. You don't want to work on time. Because I've set up these deadlines here um, with time in mind. But when I say time in mind, as in I'm expecting you to work a little bit ahead. Um, when at online classes, you, you work, you put everything on your calendar and you work a little bit ahead. Okay, so I want to talk about your first essay. So let's go back to audience and topic. See where I click there? I just clicked the menu there. And let's talk about formal versus informal um, essay. So part of the module, you have here, a Dropbox. This is a symbol for a Dropbox. That means that's where you're going to put your paper. So let me click on that. And it's super, super easy. You are going to upload it from somewhere, wherever it is that you're uploading it from, um, your desktop or one of your files. And I have nothing to upload here. So um, you're going to upload it and you're going to hit submit. Make sure you hit submit. You should get right here in your email like a little receipt that says um, that you turned it in. If I don't get a receipt, or you, if you don't get a receipt, that means I do not have your paper. You can always check with me, always send me a quick little email here saying, hey, Professor Fernandez, I turned in my paper, just want to make sure that you got it, and I can check really quickly to see if it's there, and I can shoot you an email saying yay or nay. Um, you want to do that before the deadline, though. If you expect that at 11.59 p.m., it's not going to get done. <laughs> so if you're working a little bit ahead like you should, um, then I can go ahead and do that. Going back to the module here on this, on this menu, these menu bars are here. And going back here to the formal versus informal assignment, this icon right here, this little link thing, means what, it, what you think it means. It's a link. This is your assignment sheet for your formal versus informal essay assignment. This is a link to, dun, da, 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 hopefully it comes up. I don't think it works. There it goes. Ooh, I was worried there for a second. Um, this is your assignment sheet for your formal versus informal assignment. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to read it to you because you haven't been through the lesson yet. Um, so it goes to a Word document. So you click back here. Here, this icon is a world icon, which means it is um, embedded right into D2L. Here is some directions to see your marked essays. I use Turnitin, which is embedded in the course, um, to grade your essays. You will have comments from me like comments, I, I am expecting for my wrist to hurt <laughs> because I'm going to give you so many comments on your papers. And so here is some directions on how to see those comments. It takes you step by step here. And that's pretty much it. Um, so this is your first module. The next module opens on the 2nd of October, which is the memoir essay. It starts getting down into the meat of writing essays here. Um, so some things are up. Um, these discussion boards are not supposed to be up and over, and some people have already started doing things, I think. Um, so negative, don't do that. Um, not yet, you're not ready. Um, so that's, that's, that's it. 
um, when modules are ready um, here. So you only have two modules um, that are up. Um, one is open and the other one isn't. When they're ready, they'll, they'll pop up like magic and you'll see the dates and how long you have to complete everything. Oh, that was 40 minutes of talking nonstop. Does anyone have any questions here? I don't want to keep you too long. Let me, um, ooh, how do I pop out of this crazy here? Stop sharing. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to do here. Any questions, please feel free to put questions in the live chat um, because whew, I went through a lot and I hope I didn't go through it so quickly that you didn't understand. Um, you'll be able to listen to this orientation and if you really, really, really want to see the 11 a.m. orientation, you'll be able to see that too. You'll just click on the same link that you clicked and it'll be recorded. Um, so as soon as I hit um, stop, it the recording of this goes live on YouTube because YouTube is awesome. So any other, any questions at all? Have you guys um, already introduced yourselves in the discussion? Um, I've seen a couple of you guys already do the intro, which thank you very much. I'm, ex I'm it's interesting to learn what you guys want to do um, with your lives and your educational lives. There, there are no questions? Not, not one? No, no questions in the live chat? OK, OK, here's one. Kaylee, yes, Kaylee for the win. Do you suggest Word Online for writing, or can I use Word documents? Um, either one is fine, because either way, you're going to have to like upload it into, into um, your Dropbox. Um, so either one is fine. If you do Word Online, you still have to download it to upload it. Um, I suggest Word Online because it's very easy to save it in um, in your Word, sorry, Word Cloud, what am I talking about? In the cloud um, with the space that you already have because every Lone Star student has um, cloud space. So it's very easy to do that. And as we have seen, things happen um, very quickly and unexpectedly. And so you may I don't ever want you to lose your paper. You know, computers can break down, knock on wood, um, or get lost or stolen. A uh, flood could happen, and then you lose all your work. So I don't want you to lose your work. So um, know that you have cloud space. Um, so either way, it's fine. Good question, Kylie. Very good question. Do you know the times for the writing lab at the campus of Kingwood? I do not know yet. We. Mm, we're supposed to be getting a flyer. In fact, I'm, I should already have a flyer. I'm gonna double check that the flyer didn't get lost or in the firewall. Um, and then I will upload um, upload the flyer with the times and the places and uh, locations of the, of the writing center. It'll be in the reference section, which is in the welcome start here module. So I'll go ahead and see that. If not, I'm going to send out an email to the person who knows, and then I'll let you know. Um, what are some of the things we can do in the writing lab? I'm new to Lone Star College. Oh, Viviana, welcome. Um, you have my sister's name, and my sister, um, so I'm half Cuban, and my sister is from Cuba, and she, she lives in Cuba. And my sister actually died yesterday. So um, I see your name, and I will, I'm a little emotional. but. Um, can do in the writing lab. So you can get um, help with um, writing your essays. You can get help with grammar and mechanics. Um, that's one thing that I actually had to take out. Um, any and any grammar lessons that I do during the semester, I had to take that out because we don't have time. So um, grammar stuff, they actually have really cool software to help improve your grammar. Um, they can walk you through your essay from brainstorming to checking um, your structure to checking your grammar to checking your content. Um, they can do, they are miracle workers over there. They can do lots of great stuff. So you want to go and visit them. Um, 
Kaylee, not dumb question. Do we need an account for Drop, Dropbox? No, you do not. Dropbox is embedded into D2L. We all have it. Not like the, the dropbox.com version, but it's really just a place to for me to collect your papers. So no, you don't need to, you don't need to, um, to sign up for Dropbox for it. And thank you very much for the question. And it is not a dumb question. All right. Are we going to do live streams like this once a week? Very good question. I forgot to mention that. Thank you, Sammy. Um, we are going to have them regularly, but not every week. Um, I want to have them at least once for every um, essay. If I feel that there that we need to do more, or do, if you feel that we need to do more, please let me know, um, and we can schedule more. But right now, I have it that for every essay that we do, there is a live stream. So that way we can either catch up or you can ask questions. Or if there's a certain aspect that I want to teach live, I can do that. So no, not, not every week. Um, why? Do you want it every week? Let me know. Will we have to go to MSED for classes in the future? Oh, gosh, no, I don't think so. Um, there's not that much space at MSED. There are some people, some classes that are meeting there. I don't think any of the English, any of the English classes are meeting there. Um, so no, it's it's actually really. I've told been told it's tiny. I've not been there yet, because it's actually a task seat is closer to my house. So I just come here. Um, but usually, if I'm going to meet with students, it's probably going to be at MSED because there's space there to meet with students. So no, I don't think there'll be classes there. At least not English classes. Oh, thank you very much for saying that about my, my sister. We just literally, I was um, getting the last bit of stuff ready for my classes um, and tweaking things when um, my nephew, who was able to leave Cuba and lives now in Spain, he sent me a Facebook message and that's how we found out. Um, so he's actually on his way to Cuba. I am not, because I am here teaching you guys. Um, and there so I can't just take you guys with me. Um, but yeah, so thank you very much. Viviana, thank you very much. Uh, Kaylee, you are a blessing in this. I have never done anything like this and you're making it easier. Thank you very much. I'm trying very, very hard to make it as easy as possible. We're all kind of traumatized by Harvey. Hashtag I hate Harvey. Um, so I'm trying to make it easier, but I'm also trying to Make sure you get what you need in because after this, you may have a 1302 class, an English 1302 class that you have to go into. And so you need to be prepared for that. Or you may go into a history class or sociology class or philosophy class that requires you to know how to do research and requires you to know how to communicate. So I'm, I'm, I try to streamline it, but not so much that you don't get what you need. Amada, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, any other questions? I don't, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I did the crying yesterday, which is why I didn't do a video welcome for you guys. I thought a audio welcome was the best I could do. I didn't want you guys to see me with puppy eyes. Um, Cause that's not cute. Um, thank you, Je who's just saying? That's a great name. Thank you, just saying. All right, if there's no more questions about the class, we're right at time. Um, we're like one minute shy of 9.50, and technically these were like 50, 55 minute little shindigs here. I don't want to take time away from your wonderful learning process. So if you have any more questions, um, oh, I did not show you this. Oh, okay, so let me do another screen share right quick. Let's do this weird screen share thing here. Oh, screen share. Yes, share this. Share this. Fantastic. Okay, so let's do the screen share. Let's go back into detail. And it may not be here for your first module. Discussion boards. Yes, there is. All right, so if you have a question about the, um, about the lesson, right, um, please put it here in questions about the lesson. The reason why I would prefer you put questions about the lesson in this thread and on this here um, discussion board is because if you have a question, everybody else has a question. So that means that um, I, don't, I don't want to answer this in question 27 times <laughs> or 50 times. Um, 
this gives an opportunity for you guys to see what the question is um, and know what the answer is before you email me. Um, if it's something more personal that you don't want people to know about, you can definitely email me privately. Of course, you have this and you have the Lone Star email. But if it's a, about the lesson, maybe there's something that confused you that you didn't understand, go ahead and put it here and I will definitely answer. Okay, let's uh, stop the sh stop the sharing here. Oh, thank you, Hope. I'm I'm glad it was. I'm oh, I'm I'm hopeful that Hope was helped here. Um, I figured this is a lot better than just writing everything out. So, all right, my friends, I am gonna skedaddle here because we are at time again. You know how to contact me. You you know where to put things. Um, if something doesn't pop up again you know very fast put things up very fast through tears whatever um let me know if something isn't popping up like it's supposed to because it's probably i forgot to click something like i figured out this morning i forgot to click some things so go ahead and let me know um good luck in the semester you guys we're finally starting so uh, let me know if you need anything. Bye, guys.